Hello and welcome to my kitchen for the first video of 2021 from myself. Um, going to be a bit of a different video today since we can't go into Peak District or we can't go anywhere far. Um, just looking out the window as well, it's also smashing it down with snow. Because of last year's lockdown and how bad a year 2020 was, we the campsites we, we usually visit, we've, we've got to know a few people on them and they, they closed and we weren't able to go camping and we missed out so um, I bought myself a lot of lightweight gear um, which I'm going to review in another video if I can't do any more outdoorsy stuff um, and today I want to focus on one specific bit of gear which is the MSR Whisper Light um, and the cooking Aceta Summit um, Alpha 2.1 cooking pot that I bought. Um, I'm going to try and cook my dinner on it. Um, which, I mean, it, it looks quite easy. I mean, it, it's meant to be quite easy. So, we're going to do a little gear review. Um, first, I've never used this thing before. Um, I don't know if I'll have a clue what I'm doing. Um, hopefully so. I mean, when I, I bought the Whisper Light and I've always used the big butane burners that you just plug a canister in and it's just like having a, 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 an oven hob and because of, because of the, the kind of camping we did before the, the big you know the big spacious tents and stuff that were completely fine but this is this is a new new ball game to me I mean when I went when we were younger we used to set a, a campfire um, and I know you know kind of not really thinking about the consequences I mean we, ne we never set anything on fire but that can be a problem these days especially with some dry summers that we have so i invested in um the msr whisper light which is very highly recommended it's been roughly the same design for 25 years and and generally what i think is if stuff stands the test of time then you know you're onto a winner so um that's why i bought it so i'll i'll just grab it so here we go, let's have a look what we get. So inside the box, straight out of the box, we got a nice little MSR drawstring bag. And in here, there were some instructions and there were also a little maintenance kit. But I've taken them out because um, the maintenance kit's gone in with like a, a little essentials pack and the instructions I'm hoping that I'll know enough about it by the time I come to actually needing to use it. Um, to not need them so it's the whisper light itself very nice easy fold out mechanism that will sit like such this is the fuel line onto which the pump will fix this will go into your bottle this is a pressure pump just to put a bit of extra pressure into the fuel to help feed it down the line to start with and this will connect on here there and then what we've got here, I'll show you a bit of close up, we've got a little groove here. This will clip in there to stop that coming loose. As you can see that's that's tight. I can't pull those apart now. So we've got the whisper light and the fuel pump, which is lovely. In addition to the whisper light, we got these couple of little pieces of aluminium. Um, they don't feel all too substantial, but I guess very thin aluminium's not. Um, one of them is just a simple circular map that will help give um, a bit of stability. If it's on uneven surface, you can you'll be able to push some bits up, push some bits down. That should help you get it nice and flat. And there's a slightly more reflective side, which once the whisper light set on it will reflect heat up um, and keep the burner hotter. Now the other piece of aluminium sheet which I've rolled up into a straight, it didn't come like this, it came folded but I, it, it seemed more practical to roll. We've got quite a big piece of aluminium roll here and, what, and the idea of this is this will form A windshield around the whisper light, like so. Probably meant to be a little bit more symmetrical than it. As long as you 
can fit your pot on it. I don't think it actually matters, and that will help protect the whisper light from the 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 weather. Um, so one thing I needed separate to that. Let me just roll this back up. One thing you needed separate to that, which I kind of didn't know at the time. I don't mind that I'd spend extra money on it neither, but we needed an MSR fuel bottle as well. Um, there may have been other alternatives, um, but 17 quid for the fuel, I decided it weren't worth buying either an, you know, a, a cheaper one, an imitation one. So I just went with that. Um, this is the official one for the for the whisper light itself. So, um, and this will go into the pump and sit like there, and then the wind, the, the the shield will help shield the heat of the whisper light from the fuel bottle, which is quite a, an impressive idea. Um, I've got bioethanol fuel. The next thing that I bought was this Sea to Summit um, Alpha Pot. It says it's 1.9 litre, 64 fluid ounce. Um, very, very light. I think I weighed it, I think it was like 200 gram. Um, hard anodized compact cooking system. So we've got a nice compact little thing that just simple clicking and locks there that's what that click for and then lid you've got single draining port there or you've got multi draining there if you're cooking I don't know my guess would be if you're cooking like potatoes or rice you can hold the silicon there pour out the water and away you go um, see it's, it is uh, you know it's, it's pretty deep it's pretty big I mean if we if we're making a, a curry or something like that in there because because our oliver loves curry if, if i take him you know that that'll do us a, a a nice big meal definitely be able to fill us up in that one pan um and then it, it'll just be a case of curry out put it in a, a separate pot to keep warm and then you can cook quick clean and cook some rice straight in this again or might even be able to cook it all in one pan i i need to experiment with that um, so that's the cooking pot that I've got for today um, and the whisper light. So we're just going to bow outside now. I'm going to set up a new station and we're going to fire the whisper light up. Right, so here we are, we'll fold out as whisper like, as we should. Get the fuel bottle in. Like that. Just make sure that valve's shut. I we'll need to give it a few pumps. That's getting quite difficult now, so I think it's, I think it's uh, doing quite well. I bent it a little bit yesterday till it would be a little stable. Um, so I need to get a little fuel out of it now and fill the, the bottom as instructed. Till it starts coming out. There we go, that's got the wick at the bottom. I just want that fuel to burn off now. Put the put the 
windshield around it, I think that should still be quite visible. Just want that fuel to burn away now. Die down to a near on blue flame. Quite difficult control because I mean that's that's literally there to there's like a millionth of a turn. That looks pretty good. We've got some serious heat coming off of there now. So I'm gonna get the uh see to summit pot. And we're just gonna cook a can of Cream of tomato soup. Could be quite. Oh my god. <laughs> I've not brought any tissue with me either. Well, non end at will. Let's get that in as in a seat to summit pot. Get that set up there. It's a bit mental. We are hot, it is. See that's keep it stirring. A bit of a stir, we don't want it. Wow, there's a serious amount of steam coming off. This is a looks quite an efficient piece of kit. The, t the C to Summit part has also got a, a lid. You can see you've got a draining hole there and a draining hole there. And put that on. A, I'm guessing for certain, like maybe maybe just uh, if you're boiling some water in there or maybe some rice or something, pasta, that would help you drain it while you didn't have a sieve or a colander or what you know whatever you, you, you needed. And this is this is cooking nice. This is this is cooking really nice. Bubbling away quite well. Just let me uh, bring it a bit closer for you. In fact, I mean that that is quick. Though, don't be surprised if that's quite done. Lovely. I think uh, I, th I think we're it's bubbling away, so we're gonna wanna switch it completely to off. And as you can see, it, well, I, I don't know if you saw that, but how little I had to turn that to turn it off. I'm just gonna have a little try of it now. Beggar me! Oh, <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> that is that is toasty warm. It done a cracking job. Shame I've not got any bread and butter really, but that's absolutely fabulous. That is so warm. That is well, not even warm. It's absolutely bleeding mental. Absolutely, man. I'm gonna have to, you know, have to let it cool before I can eat it. Yeah, super. 
So final thoughts about the whisper light. Um, I've, ju I've just finished eating the the soup. Um, can't believe how hot it got it how quick. Um, what a fabulous piece of kit. Um, so easy to use, packed so small, weighs next to nothing. Absolute winner overall, I'd say. Um, I checked as I took it to pieces. I checked the amount of fuel that it had used, and it has used literally nothing. I bet it's used a teaspoon at best, or at worst, depending on which angle you look at it from. It has used absolutely no fuel. I can really see why you get, you know, days of use out of one of my MSR bottles. And I understand every meal is not as quick as that to cook, and you know it will have to burn for a lot longer. Um, the only the only one thing, the only maybe one gripe I've got about it is the the burner, as I think you saw when I tried it. The burner is either on or off. Like you you didn't seem to have a great deal of control of turning it down. Um, which you know it's it when you cook it at hot temperature you just need to be a bit more attentive you know you need to make sure that you are watching the food you know don't leave it while you're out camping out i don't think you've got a great deal else to do so you may as well concentrate on it you know it's not, it's not like you're on a hob and you get distracted by your television or all like that but that that would be probably my only ever such a slight gripe about it the lack of ability to control the flame but i guess it needs to push so much through to like burn as hot as it does which you know for 70 quid bit of kit i paid for it when it were on offer i paid i bought the coleman fuel and the msr fuel bottle 17 quid so a lot for less you know for sub 100 the sea to summit including some bowls and cups to see to it with 30 quid so you know by and large i need to put a bit of cutlery in with it and a couple of pieces but by and large full cooking set 130 quid and it looks like you know it's a, a serious decent investment the the seed summit pot has cleaned up as though it's not been used the msr cooled down within 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe I'm not. I'm not really sure, but it, it cooled down quickly. Um, I mean, it is, it is really cold, so I think that probably aided it cooling down quick. But the whisper light got cooled down, packed away. Rob's your father's brother. Absolutely easy. You know, absolutely brilliant. So it's a big thumbs up from me for the MSR whisper light, and I look forward to using it actually out on the trail. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You know, I'm struggling a little things to do with we, we, lockdown we're not meant to travel we're not meant to you know go anywhere particularly interesting so might have a little walk up on the Warncliffe Crags tomorrow it's very local to me so I don't think I'm breaking any rules not be going with anyone else neither so um but that, that depends on if I get other, other stuff in house done so um yeah thanks for watching since my last video, the amount of subscribers that I've had has, has literally ballooned. So, I thank you to, to everyone who subscribed and watched my videos. Um, if you like this one, leave a comment, um, share, and subscribe. That'd be ever eternally grateful for that. I, I couldn't tell you how, how, how grateful that I'd be for that. And uh, thanks for watching.